Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV, and today we're taking a look at Viz LM2 by Nugent Audio. Viz LM2 is a loudness metering suite that allows you to easily match the standards of whatever region you're in efficiently. There's a load of presets also, if you go into the options and go into the presets over here, they have a ton of presets that can get you up and running extremely quickly, including some for Netflix. And this is great because Netflix has changed the way that they do their dialogue measurements. And so that's taken account of here. So you can very easily tell what the loudness ranges are and if they will match the standards that Netflix would like to see. So there's a couple of major regions that you're gonna to wanna to get familiar with. You have the gigantic histogram, which is great. And you have also some loudness uh, range amounts that's also very useful. If you're a YouTuber or you're making music to go on some streaming service and you're just looking for a good metering suite, they've got that covered. If you open it up by default, it'll actually have the short term loudness and the integrated loudness. And the integrated loudness is what you're going to want to pay attention to when you send that to a streaming service. So I know YouTube is at negative 14 LUFS. And so if I come over here and, I, and if I were to play through my track, I would want to see that that minus 14 LUFS or lower than that. And if it's higher than that, YouTube will start to compress it and you're going to run into um, some more volume alterations. So what you submit won't exactly be how it sounds like when it comes on over the service. We've got our loudness range amounts right here and they have a separate one for dialogue if you're doing television work. And you can actually come in if you go into the options and they have over here the display edit. You can click this and you can add the meters in the types that you want. And you can go ahead and set that. You could set the units, hit OK, and then go back to loudness and they'll be there. If they're not there, you're probably zoomed in a little too far and you need to open it up a bit. Just click and drag down in the corner. So you, one thing that's really cool about the, the Viz LM2 is that when you play a project, so there are several layers to this sound. It remembers what it was before. And if I were to make an adjustment here, I wouldn't have to change everything to get a new reading. I would just have to play through that one part. And this makes it really great if you are doing uh, a really long project. You don't have to play through, like if you're doing like a documentary or a movie, you don't have to play through the entire thing to get the uh, integrated measurements out. You can get it out right away. And there's actually a way also, if you're in Pro Tools, there's an audio suite version. You can actually just render it out right there. And that's, that's super, super fast. They've also got the ability to export this information into a comma separated value sheet. So you can go ahead and open it up in Excel or another number crunching program. Take a look at the data for yourself. You come over here to options and then go over to export and it's right here. There's a bunch of other goodies in here, but I have a feeling that this is one that you'll probably come to. You might come in and change the alerts depending on the setting if it's not found in the presets. And by the way, to get to the presets, you just go to option and then the previous and next buttons. Previous is kind of a little strange because it looks like it's in the list, but you have previous and next to get to the various um, configurations. So you've got two areas down here. You've got a loudness area and a true peak area. And if you hit the plus, you can actually see them at the same time. For most uses, I'm just going to be using the loudness page and looking at this. And I'm usually in LUFS, um, but I know that the Netflix standard, which is the preset we're looking at right now, uses the K-weighted scale version of that measurement system, which is why this is in LKFS. You can also look at the true peak and you get some additional meters here and you can take a look right here. I've got left and right. But if you're doing multi-channel audio, this supports multi-channel and you can see all the channels that you have right there, right in front of you. And you can also hit this little plus icon to see everything at once, which is pretty handy. So besides knowing what your range is, what loudness range that it wants to see and also what the integrated loudness should be, we have a bunch of nifty dials that can let us know what's going on over here. Now you can see for Netflix, I am in, I am not quite ready yet because I've got all these red flags everywhere. So I would definitely need to bring things down to start hitting in the green. But if we come over here, we click this little arrow, you actually have a bunch of additional options. So you could set up flags and alerts. So for example, since I'm not doing anything for Netflix right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those. And we have a whole bunch of suite options. The big ones are the integrated dialogue. You can go ahead and add and remove that. You can have your regular integrated loudness, short-term integrated loudness, a true peak, 
warnings, all that good stuff is contained here in this side window. And that is Viz LM. I mean, the rest of it's just getting your readings and going ahead and going in and measuring and making sure that things are exactly what you think they should be. They've got a lot of other really tightly knit integrated features such as the pre-roll so that you can get accurate readings if you're just gonna play something in really quick. You could tell how far ahead that you're gonna play it and then let it go through and it will play it there. And you've also got an auto follow down here at the bottom. So there are several layers to this sound. The very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off, which is really nice as well. You can zoom in and out and the region that you can zoom in and out on is huge. You can you know, go out to 24 hours or zoom in to only a couple minutes. So you can get a quick view of your project. And if you click this, it'll bring you right back to where you were if you get lost in what you were doing. And that is VizLM. So really easy to work with. You get your numbers right away. You can tell whether or not you need to make adjustments. You can go in and get your integrated loudness measurements a lot quicker than many other loudness metering suites offer. And they've even got things like integration with the Netflix standards so that you can get your work done right away. Nugent's always been really great about including any new standards very quickly. If you have any questions about this, feel free to drop a comment down below, subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.